Your external extension accessory comes with three parts. The external extension, shown in this video, is the EXT JB8. A threaded bumper, designed to accept your extension, and an Allen wrench. To properly install your extension, you will need to replace your existing bumper with the threaded bumper. Your first step is to remove your existing bumper, but before you do, note how the rubber sides are tucked into the cavity of the butt. To remove your existing bumper, simply unthread it by hand twisting it counterclockwise. Now it's time to attach your threaded bumper. Note that the threaded bumper is actually two parts, the bumper itself and a specially designed bolt. Hand tighten the threaded bumper with the bolt seated as shown. Hand tighten only, don't force it. Once the edge of the rubber is lightly pressing against the cavity of the butt, stop tightening. This step is the most important. Using a flathead screwdriver, your thumbnail, or the tip of a ballpoint pen, you need to tuck the rubber sides of the bumper into the cavity of the butt, just like your existing bumper. If you don't tuck in the rubber, it will hang up on the edge of the butt when you tighten it with the Allen wrench, causing the rubber sides of the bumper to mushroom like this. Once you feel that the rubber sides are properly tucked into the cavity of the butt, you can use the Allen wrench to tighten it. Again, don't force it. Your goal is a snug fit, that's all. You're not changing a car tire. Over tightening can damage the bumper and even strip the threads inside the butt. If the bolt is snug and the bumper looks like this, your bumper is properly installed. From here on out, it's pretty simple. Just thread on your external extension when you need that extra reach across the table. And unthread it when you're done. Your threaded bumper can stay on your queue.